Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just wanted to post this short video about my application process for Zebra English. I don't know what is the norm as far as what the application process is now. I just want to share what mine was like and if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer the little bit that I do know now. Um, so when I applied to Zebra English, it was very easy. They have their basic questions about yourself just to see if you qualify to move on. And let me tell you a mistake I did to prevent you from making the same mistake. I have both a teaching license and a TESOL. And there was a question that asked what you have, what paperwork you have, and it would not let me click two of them. So I clicked other and then typed in that I had them both. Well, don't do that. Apparently clicking other lets them know that you don't qualify. So I was rejected the first time. Um, but I applied it under a different email, realizing that that was probably the situation. Put that I just had the TESOL and that was fine. So don't mark other on the very first one as far as your paperwork goes. Well, once that the second one went through and that part was approved, I was notified that I needed to schedule a demo. And when I looked, I, there wasn't a time that would work for me. I was still booked at um, my other two platforms, GoGo Kid and VIP Kid, and the times that they had available were all when I was teaching somewhere else. But I will share with you that I, this is where I started to get very impressed with this company because I started emailing back and forth and the communication was quick and very well done in that they wanted to work with me. Um, she kept shooting me times, does this time work? Does this time work? If that time won't work, how about this? I felt like they really wanted teachers to apply and they really wanted this to work out. Um, I haven't always felt that at other platforms. So this, this was the beginning of, hmm, maybe this company might be a little different. We got the demo set and it was just two days ago. I'm telling you, this is all very, very new. So my demo was two days ago and I practiced and I watched other YouTube videos to help know what to do. Once you have your demo one scheduled, they'll send you the link where you can go to the practice room and go and play the games and go through all of the slides so that you know what you're doing basically. Uh, and there's also videos on each game on how to play it. So if you have time between when you schedule your demo and you have your demo to really look into it and watch these videos and learn, I totally recommend doing that. Um, what happened was the um, worker popped in and pretended to be a five-year-old. First, she was very welcoming and it was, it was very non-stressful. She, she just opened up and said, do you have any questions first? This is what it's going to be like. And um, suggested using a lot of TPR and those things that we all know we should do. So we, I jumped into the demo and let me tell you what I wish I would have done better so that you can do a better job than I did. I did not look at the timer that was going at all until 20 minutes into it. And then I thought, ah, I was almost done, but not quite done. Your demo is supposed to be 20 minutes. You're supposed to be done at 20 minutes. And I think I still had two more slides. So I got so involved and so it was really fun. I got so into playing these games and cheering on my student and giving her zebra coins and I should have watched the time better. So I knew my pacing was not as good as it should have been. Another thing that I wish I would have maybe known and incorporated better into my demo was the fact that when students come to us, this is review. That 
our job is to review, practice, and extend, not be the first one to teach them the skill. So for the first few slides, I was woo-hoo and zebra coining, and we really kind of could have moved on and spent more time on the last third of the slides, really getting more extension in there. So make sure when you're doing your demo, extend, extend, extend. That's what they're looking for. Uh, but one positive thing, hopefully more than one, but the one positive thing that she commented on was that I was enthusiastic, had energy, used TPR. So I think that's what saved me on that one. Just two hours later, I got an email actually while I was teaching for another platform, I got an email that I could skip demo two and go right to the teacher briefing. And so I thought that's awesome. I went to the link to see how far down the road I could get into a teacher briefing. Well, there was one two hours later. So I clicked on that, that yes, I definitely wanted that one. So I had my demo one and my teacher briefing within five hours of each other. Ah, whirlwind. Um, the teacher briefing was very interesting. It was a little awkward in that it's one-on-one -on -one with another person from the company going through and telling you about the company, which is really interesting. And I learned a lot of things. Um, I'm just not really great one-on-one -on -one listening and um, kind of like being in the class, but all by yourself and knowing when to comment and that kind of thing. But it was really interesting and very welcoming. I could ask any questions I wanted to. Um, and I think that I wasn't sure if that was going to be an important part of the process, but I think I got a lot out of it. I understood more after that, how this company is different than Go Go Kid and VIP Kid, for example. So that was about midnight. I had my teacher briefing and I woke up the next morning to an email sending me my background check information and the link where you put all your um, information, paperwork, that kind of thing. And so I completed that um, that morning. Within a couple hours, I got the background check um, information back that that was all fine. And then by the evening, which was actually last night, the signed contract came, uh, or the uh, this contract came for me to sign. And once I click sign on that, then another email came that I could open spots. So my journey for Zebra English was really fast. From demo one to sign contract was two days. And that was fast. Now, that being said, I can open up spots and start um, possibly getting booked in teaching now. However, I wasn't planning on this going so quickly. So looking at my schedule for next week, we have a lot of family um, appointments and commitments. And so the times I have available to teach are already all booked up. So I think there's one, <laughs> there's one slot that I open for next week. I'm not terribly worried if it fills or not, but looking into the following week, um, I've got um, some slots open to hopefully start the Zebra English teaching. But that is my journey. Like I said, we're all going to be different and whether we can, get things scheduled when it works for us will depend on how long all of this takes. But my takeaways were definitely go in, have fun, be enthusiastic, know your stuff as best as we can in these situations. I'm giving myself grace because I know nobody can know everything right away and we all get better as we go on. Um, but I'm super excited that in just two days. I am now a Zebra English teacher. I'm not teaching quite yet, but I'm still there. So that's exciting. It's been great to get on the Facebook groups and see how, how this company is communicating with its teachers, how the teachers are communicating amongst themselves. It's just a very welcoming, supportive vibe. I hope that always continues because that is something that 
I think a lot of us feel is lacking in other platforms. So that's my journey. I will keep you guys posted. Thanks for checking in. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to try to answer them or lead you to where the answers might be. But good luck and I will keep you posted on what happens when I start teaching. Thanks so much for checking guys. Bye.